Hey folks, this is a quick tip of the day here. So I've had, after how many months and how many hours of printing, my first kind of blob of death on my Cobra 3 Max uh, print head. Um, <laughs> this was sliding around over the top of my print. I um, don't know if it's caused by the actual uh, filament itself, because it was a no-name brands that I kind of inherited uh, over here this Solulin stuff whatever the heck it is PLA Ultra yeah right whatever but it did not want to seem to stick to the uh, other filament that had gone down and uh, like I said turned into this blob that was stuck onto the end and I managed to prise that off, but of course you still got all this stuff which seemed to ooze out the top. So, you know, in fairness, don't know if it was the filament or whether it just decided to make its way out of the actual hot end part there. But, uh, big top tip, always have a spare print head. <laughs> so, I always keep spare print heads for my machine, so it was a quick change out. And then I figure I'll go back and then fix the old one and I do keep spare hot ends I've got a bunch of these so all you got to do is pop the new one back in and it's that little cable that causes the fun on these any cubics because I was like okay it's got to get all the way up there how the hell do you get to it and um, I did some searching online and every time I googled how to replace the hot end on an any cubic uh, three max um, it would redirect me to the any cubic shop which was like no use whatsoever I don't want to buy a printhead I just want to replace the one that's in there checked on YouTube nothing there either show me all sorts of other weird and wonderful heads so just yeah, so you know uh, take your print head off Flip it over to the back, and there's two screws that you need to remove because there's a bunch on the back, and I started loosening up all of them. But it's only the two right at the top. This one I took out completely, this one I just slackened off. And there's a little clip down here where my thumb is. Slide that over, and that whole front piece will come off. Now, again. Uh, the clip that you want to put in goes up the back and comes here so what you need to do is remove the two screws here to take the fan off so you can get to where the cable routes so I'm just going to pause this for a second while I undo those two screws to take the fan off and I'll show you the rest here. so there's the fan removed you can see the cable coming up here under this little clip and then through here and then onto that one so I'm going to just prise that one out and of course I need both hands to do this so I'm going to stop again and then reroute that and put the new one in position so give me a couple of seconds and that's what I'm going to do okay so that's the new hot end in place so it's just a case of pulling out the old connection here pushing the new one in slide the hot end in there and oh, slide the nozzle in there lock it in position and just tuck your cables away here and make sure this round piece faces forward because that's uh, that'll stop those wires getting wrapped around the heat block here which is the last thing you want um so now that's in place it's a case of reinstall the fan so give me a second there Okay, fan back in place with the two screws tightened up. One thing to note is the fan will push down in this area here, so make sure you leave enough slack and bend these wires from the connector that way so that when the fan comes down, uh, there's enough slack there for it to push down and not pull on those wires and yank them out of the connector. Um, so right, so now that's there, 
And it's a case of slide this back on and push it in place and put in the screws. So, so let me get onto that. All right, two screws there and there, tightened up and reinserted. Just gonna flip that over. I'm gonna take my filament cutter, pop that back in there. And right, there's another print head raring to go. So if that thing ever blocks up, I can just change it straight out for this one. Yep, so once again, folks, just remember two screws at the top here and this little piece here will then flip out and that will allow you to remove the cover, remove the fan, change out the connectors and away you go. Simple as that.